Hello my friends, welcome back to Anna's Mobile Home Life. And if you're new, welcome. In this video, I'm gonna make something that I've been enjoying and I'd like to share it with you. I'm gonna make some rice in the rice cooker. This is the cup that comes with the rice cooker. I have my rice here. I'm gonna add a full cup of rice to my rice cooker. No need to wash this off. I am also gonna add let me make sure it's correct. A little more. Here we go. One and a quarter cup of water. Let's see. We're at the quarter. All right. So we got one and a quarter. I'm gonna just add a little bit of salt. Give it a quick stir. And I'm gonna cover that. Hit the switch to cook. And when that switch turns to warm, that means it's ready. So we're going to let that go. In the meantime, here in this pot, I have leftover gravy that I had made. I have it on low heating up. It's a chicken, roasted chicken gravy. Guys, here's another that I love and I highly recommend. I'm sorry it's torn off. But it's Pioneer since 1851. It is a roasted chicken gravy mix. All of the Pioneer gravy mixes are delicious. They are so good. And this meal that I'm making right now, it is amazing. So full of flavor. This gravy is full of flavor. So if you can get it in your store and you want to give it a try, I suggest it. All right. Next, I have my air fryer pan here. And I'm going to be making some crispy chicken strips. I've showed you these before. They're delicious once again. They're a little peppery, like regular pepper, but they're so good. They turn out great in the air fryer. So I'm going to take let's see, we'll do I'll do that one. We'll just put a few little, there's a little one there. So I'm gonna get the bag back in the freezer. I want them on hand all the time. They're very handy. All right, next I'm gonna bring you over. All right. We are gonna get this. In my multifunction Galan's oven. I got to take this stuff off because on air fry it gets pretty hot. And I want to make sure that it doesn't hurt that stuff. So I'm going to hit air fry. Uh, for now, I will do... 375 and we'll do 10 minutes and then I'll probably have to flip them 
while all that stuff is cooking, I'm going to give you a new update. So I'll be right back. Okay, I'm going to give you a uh, update. Um, as of yesterday, my son was taken into the OR and they, um, did the surgery with his, for his mouth. They wired his jaw shut. They said that he was doing fine. He was comfortable back in his room. He was doing good and everything, which is amazing. He's amazing. He's such a strong young man. Uh, today, oh, also yesterday, I had mentioned in my last video that they were thinking of getting him up and in the chair. They wanted to do some more imaging to check his spine and make sure, you know, he's good to go to, like, actually sit up in a chair. So, my daughter spoke to them yesterday and he, they got him in a chair. To protect him, they put like a strap in front of him so he don't, you know, fall or out of the chair or anything. But he sat in that chair for uh, quite a few hours and he was comfortable. He's responding even more now. My daughter uh, said that there, he's responding a lot more. He's understanding more. Uh, they had him in the chair again today and, you know, he responds by shaking his head, yes or no, um, you know, when they ask him to do stuff, you know, he either does it or he tries real hard. He knows what he's being asked. It is a miracle that he's to the point he's in at right now after such a tragic accident he is like i've said once before he is my rock he is absolutely amazing he's a fighter and he is doing so well now his left arm and leg they decided to put a brace on his arm and his leg to hold it straighter in a different position than what he's been keeping it. So they're going to try that for a little bit. And, you know, physical therapy will probably take it off and work with them when they come in and uh, exercise that arm. Because there is no damage, I did ask, you know, was there any damage? And they said none. So I, I think he's just, you know, from the severe brain damage, he's just struggling to uh, move that side for some reason. So they're still working on that. Um, but he is doing very good, they said. You know, they, they're really happy with his responding and everything. Uh, each and every day, is the, it seems like he's doing more. So, he's already was up in the chair today. They put him back to bed to keep him comfortable. But he's doing well. Uh, having his jaw wired shut. They said he seems to be doing fine. So, I'm so happy. I am so, so happy. And I'm continuing to pray each and every day. Uh, that he gets better each and every day. I know, like I've said before, that there's still a long road. He's going to need, a, you know, physical therapy. We're not even sure if he's able to walk. He ha They haven't worked on that with him yet. They lifted him out of the bed with like a lift to put him in the chair. I guess they're not ready to work with that yet. But I'm... This hospital is amazing. It's the best hospital. Uh, that's the same one I was in. 
So I, you know, I trust them. He, you know, they're very good there. So that's all I have right now. You know, he's still, you know, breathing on his own. His eyes are wide open. You know, he's looking around, communicating the best he can. Um, on and off, I mean, there's a slight time where they, you know, they say he don't respond, but he's still doing better than he, he does. Each day, he's doing better. So that's all I have with my son right now. Um, my mom, as of yesterday, he, uh, she still has COVID. She's still positive. But my mom just wants to go home. She's been causing quite the ruckus, uh, with the nurses saying, I'm going home. I'm fine. Since she's been in the hospital, she has not gotten up. Uh, you know, she's having a lot of difficulties. She still had, I spoke to her today. She's still very congested, has a horrible cough. Uh, they're still doing the, uh, breathing treatments. She still, you know, is going to need oxygen. Whether, you know, in, she has it in the hospital and she will need it coming home. So she's begging and begging to go home, giving them a hard time. So I don't know what's happening with that yet. They're still up and about trying to figure out the situation. And they're saying she'll need at least eight weeks of physical therapy to get back up and to be able to move and, and do things herself. And she keeps saying, I can do it. I'll be fine. Once I go home, I'll be fine. So that is the situation with her now. She is still in the rehab. Um, I mean, they can't let her go with COVID. You know, they have to get make sure that's uh, cleared up. Especially with her lung situation. And, you know, the fluid and stuff like that. So, I'm taking that each and every day. One day at a time. Praying for her. Praying for my son. Constantly. Uh, you know what? I believe in miracles. Because my son, he is doing tremendously. I am so proud of him. My mom, you know, I just wish she would understand that she needs that physical therapy in order to get around. She's not going to be happy not being able to get around. And she cannot go home under those circumstances. And at this point, she don't understand that. With that said, hopefully she, uh, you know, I told her you need the treatment. You need help walking uh, so you could get around. So, that's all I have for you on the update. Uh, I'm continuing to pray once again for more success with my son. I know each and every day it's going to be better. Um, so far, that's what I've been seeing. I just got to think positive and pray. So that's all I have on my son and my mom for right now. Um, now we're going to get back and continue the meal that I'm making. So I'll see you shortly. All right. Back to the meal. This has been in for 10 minutes. I'm just going to get in there. And we're going to flip it over. And we're going to put it back on air fry. For another 10 minutes. And we will come back and continue the meal. 
Once again, I will see you shortly. Okay, my friends. The chicken strips are ready. The rice is finished. We will come back to that shortly. First, I am going to... Just cut up the chicken, just in bite-sized pieces. Get that all cut up. Smells good. This chicken always smells so good. I love this meal. I don't, I've just been, I've been craving the rice all the time. I don't know what it is, but this meal is just something I've been wanting. All right, that is all cut up. Next. I have a small can of corn. It's 8.8 .8 ounces, 8.6 ounces. It's a uh, sweet and whole kernel corn. I'm going to drain some of it. Whoops. If I'm strong enough. All right, I have a bowl here. I'm gonna add it to the bowl. I'm gonna add just a tad of butter on top. I'm not going to add any salt, but I'm going to add some pepper because the gravy has enough flavor. And I'm going to put that in the microwave just to heat it a little bit. I put it on for two minutes. Once that's done, I will come back. All right, the corn is heated. I'm gonna set that aside. We are gonna get this plated up. Check out the rice. I'm gonna unplug it. Rice comes out perfect every time. I use the, don't mind my outfit. I look like a ragamuffin today, but I'm in hangout clothes, comfy clothes today. My shirt's all wrinkly, but I'm home. I'm not going anywhere. <laughs> um, yes, this rice, if you use the rice, the measuring cup that comes with the the Dash Mini Rice Cooker. I use uh, one and a quarter cup of water with one full of those cups of rice. And each and every time it comes out perfect. So we're gonna get some rice on the plate. Whoops. Okay. All right, we have the rice. Now, we're gonna add some corn on top of the rice. You could use whatever you want. 
but it is so good. I might as well use it. There's not much to that can. And I love corn. So we're just throwing that on top. See if this is hot. Now we're going to add the chicken. I probably won't use all the chicken. Let's see. Guys, I can't wait. This is delicious. You could use any uh, chicken strips. The breaded ones. There we go. I'm going to set this aside. Cover up the rice. Whoops, wrong one. Next. The gravy, just going to drizzle it over. It's almost like a KFC bowl without the mashed potatoes, using rice instead. But the rice, I don't know, it is amazing. I'm going to add a little pepper on top. Look at that, guys. Oh, it is delicious. I promise you. Yes, it's a huge plate full, but I'm going to put some aside in the refrigerator to heat up what I don't finish. But this is absolutely delicious wonderful so i'm gonna set it here i have a fork somewhere grab some chicken some rice and gravy whoops i always have trouble with keeping food on my fork <laughs> When I'm taste testing. There we go. There we go. Mm. Guys, I just can't get enough of it. Oh. Highly, highly recommend. It is truly, truly delicious. That gravy, so much flavor. The corn, you got that sweetness of the corn. That chicken, the pepper, the, oh. I just can't have enough of it. Mmm. I hope you all... Enjoyed the video? I thank you all so very much for watching. I thank you for all your amazing prayers. The love I've been getting. You guys are the best. I have a great YouTube channel all because of you. All the, mir the miracle. It... it <laughs> I don't know what I would do without you guys. With that said, thank you so, so very much for all you do. You guys are loved very much. You're my family. Thank you once again. And of course, I will see you next time.